as the mayor of the town of Castleberry, I hereby call this town meeting to order, all right? We are all gathered here today to see if there's if what we're going to do with the hundred dollars that's in our treasury, if we're going to get a stop sign or eight. All right, I ask that everybody to come forward, please give us your name and your address. All right. Oh, Linda, you're up first. Hi, good, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Linda, Linda Jeffries. I live uh, just, uh, just right next door. Uh, I'm here because I think we should not get a stop sign. A stop sign will put people on notice that we exist. And, and we can't have every Tom, Dick, and Harry coming into our God-fearing Christian town. Amen. 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 More people here might mean we get one of those, uh, one of those the internet sweepstake places, you know, where they gamble on the computer. If we get one of those, that's going to lead to crack houses. <laughs> and if crack houses come, that's going to lead to whore houses. <laughs> And do you know what's in whore houses? Whores! <laughs> and do you know what whores do? They fornicate with strangers for money! That has never happened in this town. It doesn't need to stop. We do not need a stop sign. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Ernest Oates. I live right across the street, though. Uh, I'm against getting a stop sign. Because this, this, there's only one, two, there's only ten people living in this town. So I say we take the money from the treasury and bring a gun shop to the town. That way, whenever I find whoever's been letting their dog use my lawn as a toilet, <laughs> I can stand my ground, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That's all I really have to say. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Who's next? Oh, that's that. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, my name is Madison Fluff. I don't know why I have to tell you where I live because I'm a nerd. People in this town, I think we all know where we all live. Um, I happen to be for the stop sign. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think that we should have one. You know why? Because we are the only town in this state that does not have a stop sign. Do you know what that makes us look like? Like a bunch of bubbling fools. Yeah. Backwards. Yeah. Whatever they want to call them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I say we need to have one. And we also need to have one so maybe people would come to this town and y'all would start seeing what a bunch of knuckleheads we got here. <laughs> I mean, you've got, yeah, don't you look all surprised and stuff, girl. I mean, you've got Mr. Jim over there. He's got his steel going. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's tipping in. He's, he's, he's picking it. And then you know Miss Sally. Oh yeah, Miss Sally, she uh well uh let's just say she didn't run around on her husband. Yeah. And I don't mean with men, I mean with women. What? Yeah. Yeah. And and then, you know, and then and, and, uh Miss Paula, you know, she she's been stealing from the church copper. Yes, she has. Yes, she has. So I think we should bring a stop sign here because then maybe It'll bring some attention here, and y'all will stop acting like a bunch of fools. Mm -hmm.
live in the trailer. That means I live wherever the damn hell well I please. I want to talk about what this is really about. The real reason canceling chickens in particular is the guest behind the stop sign is so that he can use the money in the treasury to pay the taxi bills. Who said I didn't pay my taxes? Everybody knows about it. It's in the paper. You're out of order. No, you're out of order. You were elected to serve the people, not yourself. I say put your money in the stop sign before this crook here gets a hold of it. Well, I don't know nothing about that, but I do know this. I said we weren't going to air other people's dirty laundry, Joe. You can't Look. tell me what to do, Joe. I remember when you was the town drunk, always passing out on a corner of Sterling Street. The only reason you're there is because you're not the only one big enough to hold these meat. And you better think what, you're about to get thrown out at some bitch. Go ahead, do it, Disney. No good about you're drunk. All I gotta do is toss some chimpanzee down your throat and I'll take your ass out. Please, please stop. 